Elixir Qigong, the form is a few form movement only. The internal work is very important. Elixir we know have to involve with the saliva. Okay? And um, when I taught this form, the one that helped me write is a Judith Poole because she learned it. She have the a uh, joy problem. I think that she have um, radiation somewhere and the saliva gland uh, reduce or don't work. And after that, the problem they have is the joys swollen up. And um, so painful, you cannot move. And when they do the elixir qigong and a lot of saliva swallowed down, the joy gone. The joy problem swollen up gone. And, um, and she start to do a lot of people that have a uh, problem with big joy problem because the saliva, saliva gland <coughs> don't work very well. When we talk about golden elixir, we talk about golden elixir, what we call by the fountain of youth or the water of life, nectar or elixir. Okay, in every tradition they talk about that. When you drink the water of wealth, you're still going to get thirst. If you drink the water of life, and you're never thirsty again. The first elixir that you need to know is the sexual energy. They have to be rises up to the brain and trigger out the pineal gland, trigger out the pituitary gland, trigger out thalamus, hypothalamus gland, and we have a lot of slivery, okay? We have a lot of slivery gland around here. So it actually is the biggest, one of the biggest gland we have in the whole body. Because every day we have to be producing at least a quart of saliva, a lot. In the course of life, we have uh, one swimming pool of saliva. <laughs> so you can swim in your saliva, you know? <laughs> It's a lot of saliva to, to produce in every day. Okay? And have you ever think about why the body needs to produce so much saliva? Right? So the saliva gland is so important. One thing is involved with the glands that we have. In our body, there are a few places we can touch the glands. So that the nipple is one of the glands. But the nipple also have tremendous connecting with other glands. Okay. Women have many nipple. That means have about six breasts. So this is the this is the one of the very big glands that are connecting to the, to the ovary. For men, you're connecting very directly into the testicle and the prostate gland. Now, in the reverse, this prostate gland connecting right up into the pineal gland, thalamus gland, hypothalamus gland. They're all interconnection together, okay? So this is the first gland we want to, to work on it. And when you're very relaxed, you put your tongue up, smiling and relaxed, smiling and relaxed. And you started to feel like the secretions are coming down. The saliva will protecting the teeth. And that is uh, the research. And in Japan, they have research on, on this also. They said, when we are relaxed and calm, the saliva coming out have a hormone we call the longevity hormone. 
and it's all go to the the same uh, understanding in the house we call elixir we call immortal elixir okay and you're going to begin started to beginning to understand we call the sweet and fragrant when we get angry when we get jealousy what happened to the mouth you know how, how the mouth tastes sour sour <laughs> so in chinese they call chu chu mean you you drink a vinegar when you very angry or very depressed or very stressful the mouth become bitter so when uh, sour or bitter it become more acid okay so you taste your you taste the saliva when you taste the saliva and you see the ph are uh, more lower and it close to to acid and you do the elixir practice smile relax smiling relax and you smile relax 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 until you feel some saliva come out and you started to feel it sweet and fragrant and you test your saliva again it become more balanced pH balance and it's very good balance so this is the fastest way to change the saliva so they said when you have too much acid it decay the teeth it make the teeth start to eat away because saliva so much in the teeth okay so that is one thing we're into in bad what we are doing here a more when you have water of life you know when hitler uh second world war he sent people to look for when he conquer part nearly part of the whole europe and africa so he sent people to looking for the water of life and he even sent people to brazil to look for the water of life but he never know that his water of life is right here in his yeah. going <laughs> and he's looking all around he never going to find it because it's right in his going <laughs> so you know where to find it okay so the elixir is come from all the glands started to balancing and harmonize and they started to secretion more hormone system okay and it plus the salivary gland and that's beginning of the elixir so that you have one you need to get the elixir and you have to know where to get it and how to get it so in the chinese word they call zi jia sui mean your own water uh, your own well in your body they call zi jia sui your own body your own well so you need to get your well to take the water out okay here yeah? otherwise you just let the water flow out and um, you don't have it it's a very simple theory okay we're going to be very gentle um, very light massaging on the nipple okay so we're going to have one one two three four five six and coming down to near the groin area so you're going to find out one place there are very a uh, trigger point what you call it, a trigger point okay you feel it and you feel very very uh arousal and orgasm point and it connecting to the sexual organ okay and we're going to start do the testicle orient breathing the nipple are very connecting to the Pistoris and the gland penis because they are they are the same gland. They are very similar, growing same gland. Human cells are based on love frequency and arousal orgasm frequency. When they don't have these two frequency come together, they don't split in the original and the proper way. So when we under stress, angry, and hatred. the cells still have to split 
but they split in a very, very, very hasty, very uh, uh, not their not their environment. So when the cells split in that kind of condition, they are not good cells. So this cell eventually they get to um, very off the original and split in a very bad condition. And that's the beginning of the sick cells and beginning of the cancer cells. Because in the Tao, we're very concerned about on the moment the cell split. Because we're creating a new copy. We're creating a new copy. So in the Tao, always said seven years, you have time to, to, you have time to work with your emotional, with your uh, uh, toxic, emotional, detoxify, everything seven years. If you work them in the very good, the next seven years, you have a much better copy. Because you clean out the thing you don't want, you go out to the, the DNA, you clean out the junk file they don't want it. And you have in the make copy, they will not copy all the junk file to the next copy. But if we do that, every year we, apply, or we, we, we have more junk file and more junk file, and you copy to the next one. It, it's too much junk file inside there, you know. And finally get to one level, we have no more space to put anything. So let's do the crane neck. Very important, make sure your spinal cord loose and feel good and feel nice. Feeling good is a very important in Tao practice. And rock your spine. Very lightly, gentle, touch your nipple. And very lightly, spiral. Gentle spiral. Nice spinning. And just feel a feeling like connection down to your ori, to your testicle. And when you're night time, you rest. And feel connection go right down to the testicle, go down to the ori. This is the very important gland produce, production in our body. If we don't take care of it, if we don't you don't put attention in it. Eventually, they don't work for us. Like a like village, when the, the government or the king don't care, care about the village, they stop to death. You know? Who's going to work for you? Nobody can work for you. Okay. So, now we spiral. This time, we're going to be aware of the gland penis. They're very connected together. And the crystalis a woman. Clitoris in a woman is a very direct line connecting right into the brain. We call hot line. When you spiral and you feel the energy also spinning and spiral in the gland penis and clitoris. Your tongue, very important, relax your tongue. Press very relaxed, put it behind the teeth. And when you're breathing, try to feel you breathing very nice, cool energy into your mouth. And very relax your tongue. And relax your mouth. Relax your jaw. Feel your jaw, your jaw here, relax. Feel your jaw relax. Rest. Smile. Let me see your smile in your eye, everybody. Let me see your mouth, corner, lip up. 
and you feel a very nice, good feeling in your mouth. Very nice, good feeling in your mouth. So relax. You started to feel some saliva, some elixir come out. Keep on smiling, relaxing it. Let's borrow again. Smile. Very aware of your prostate gland and your uterus. All you have to do is so simple. You picture them, you get the country code. You picture them and you smile to it, you get the city code and a telephone number. That's all. No difficult at all. Okay? It's so simple because it's our body. If you don't in touch with it, no way. Who are going to be getting in touch with it for you? If you don't take care of yourself, who are going to take care of you? Touch and smile to your prostate gland and the uterus. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, feel very nice and cool energy in your mouth. Very nice and cool energy in your mouth. Smile. You started to feel some kind of energy from the sexual organ. Started to rise up. Now, we're going to be smile into the sexual organ, smiling down to your sexual organ. Put your hand down, very relaxed, and just your palm face towards your sexual organ. This is the fountain of youth. The fountain of youth. There's so much energy I supply from here to the entire body. Okay? So I wear your sexual organ. Just smile from the heart and like sunshine shining down to your heart and the sun smiling sunshine down to your sexual organ. Very smiling, smiling and relaxed to your mouth. And very gentle breathing. Inhale, exhale to your sexual organ. And inhale, exhale to your mouth. You may feel some energy started to rise up into your brain. Smile. The more you're smiling to your tongue, the more you relax your jaw. The more you feel your tongue nice and cool, the more you feel the elixir coming. The sexual energy, we call the jing qi, the steaming energy of the sexual energy, arises up to the brain to activate the pineal gland. Thalamus, hypothalamus, and the pituitary gland. And they activate your salivary gland, sexual energy is the original energy, is the first chief in command, is the number one in command. Okay? From one sex cells of the father and mother, creating trillion and trillion and trillion cells. So remember, sexual energy is the first in command. When it comes up, it order everybody listen. So remember the first in command, because they are the original cell of the original. Breathing in air and exhale. Inhale. And exhale.
Feel some energy rises up to your brain. Activate the gland. Your tongue very, very relaxed, touching the palate, and smile. Now, suck your slime. Beat the saliva so you put more chi, more air into it, and you massage your gum. And you can your teeth left nine times middle right Now, very important, the whole crew is to swallow the saliva. You tighten your neck. Hold it. Look up straight. Not go down. Not head not down. Right. Head don't go down. Head straight. You push and this on raise. Okay? So you feel your block here. Now, you need the muscle and all the internal muscle to help you swallow the saliva. Okay? So, touch the navel. Think one line. Think one line. Okay? One line from here, go direct to the Tan Tien. And push very hard down. <coughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get the saliva grouped down. Okay? So this is the hardest part. You need to practice at least thousand times swallowing the saliva to get beginning get it right okay you end up reducing the a lot of internal muscle we call soft uh, involuntary muscle okay but you try to turn it into the voluntary that you can control okay so you tighten your neck and <coughs> you feel good down Okay, and in the Tao's very concerned about this force. So they say the softest force becomes the strongest force. Okay, they have text written down that any disease can heal by this so, uh, elixir that you swallow in the right. But you need to do a thousand times a day. You end up with, you just do it <laughs> every day. <laughs> it's a lot of saliva to swallow. Yeah. But you need to get the elixir first, and you feel the elixir coming. Good. <coughs> down. <coughs> so it's good now, okay? I remember it. I thought my tongue feel the sweet and fragrant. Because when you just do you aware your saliva is sweet and fragrant, you already change your mind, your emotional, your pH. It's a big chain. It's just a, an amazing big chain already. Yeah. Imagine that your saliva becomes bitter. Okay, you taste bitter. 
or you taste sour and you meditate, your tongue up. It's, it's fun to play with your nipple, you know. <laughs> play with your nipple and just aware your sexual organ breathing because it needs the gland. Elixir comes from the gland. So we call it the inside first. We call it the inside. And we have outside. So you're drawing the forces, all different forces from outside in. <coughs> you draw them in and mixing in the saliva. And you swallow down. Master Chi, this would be fine for men forever, but when women go through menopause and their, or- their sexual organs are no longer producing those hormones, what do they do? What do we do then? You still have sexual organ. And if we can still pull the in- Definitely. The I mean, don't shut your multi-million dollar factory off right away. <laughs> People, they just, when they finish, they just shut down. That is, you know. Don't shut them down. It's a very expensive, uh, I tell you. The people make artificial hormones. How much money they make? You see? And it's, it's a copy. Sometimes body, they confuse. Real? Not real. No? Real? The body, they say, is that real? <laughs> and they, they confuse with it. So how can the ovaries continue to produce? It still, it still can work with it if we can produce. You keep them active. You keep them active. Work with it. We think that uh, working with this very dirty, sinful, sexy, no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you just start to work with the sexual organ, you know, you have to wash your hands so many times and ask God forgiveness so many times. Because it's too dirty. You know? <laughs> Let's get it very clear because you need this, copy this experience. When we do the form, you need to copy the experience and record the experience and feel the elixir coming. Very important. You need to. It's just like you, you, you learn how to sign your name and sign, and sign, and sign, and finally you get your name, yeah? a unique name, that's it. Very relaxed, your tongue pressed behind the teeth. And very relaxed, lightly relax your jaw, relax your tongue. And smiling your eye like a waterfall down. Like waterfall right down into your mouth, to your throat. Smile. Smile to your sexual organ, glampiness, quistoris. Very nice and cool, in, nice and good feeling in your mouth. Chi in your mouth. Classical Ori. And prostaglan and the uterus. Feel the saliva, elixir, mixing and coming down. Put your hand down and do very gentle, very relaxing gen- sexual organ breathing. Inhale. Just simple breathing. Exhale. Feel your sexual organ of breathing. Feel energy rises up to your brain. Picture your pineal gland and spinning the energy into the pineal gland. My power, intention power, my eye, heart, soul and spirit power. And picture 
thalamus and hypothalamus in the middle of your brain. Spiral the energy there. And picture your pituitary gland right on the mid eyebrow, right straight inside there, about three, two, three, two to three inches into the brain. Picture them. If you can picture them, you get the address and telephone number. This is why the anatomy is so amazing. You know, that was some 5,000 years, the dream of it. And, and that's how the church and temple and, and statue work. A picture to picture on. So everybody picture on the same thing. So hold our mind. But this is your body. Nobody can hold your mind. Breathing to your sexual organ. Your energy is right up and very relaxed. Smile. Now, just simple smiling on your tongue and palate, relax, and your jaw relax. Smiling and breathing in air. Smile and exhale. Relax your tongue and breathing. Now suck your mouth. Suck your mouth together you suck your sexual organ. And feel when you suck your sexual organ, suck your mouth, you feel your brain are sucking in. Your brain inside are sucking. Feel your brain sucking. your saliva massage your gum and can your teeth left side is one nine Middle. Right. Feel by breathing right into your brain. Very important. If you drive long distance, do this. If you sleep, sleepy, do it. Okay? Save your life. Now we swallow down. Heighten your neck. One thing in the olden time, the Dharma master, I dream of it. Now, now we no need to dream. <laughs> you have so amazing anatomy book. Okay. When you learn the Tao's, you have to understand a human body, not only for a doctor to study. Okay? You, because it's your own body. Okay? If you don't know it, you only depend on other people to fix you, not good. So pineal gland, pituitary gland, it look like that, you know. So in the Tao set, when you, when you can see and picture them, you can hold the image, you make connection. Okay? And that's how the religious work. And the thousand years, they figure out. That's simple. Okay? Here, the statue. You picture it. Whenever, put it above your head. Anywhere you want, you call me, I help you. Okay? Who do it? 
You do it yourself. So the Taoism says you start with your own image. And you work with it. Pituitary gland is a master gland, one of the very important gland in the body. They secretion a lot of hormone every day. And what you're doing here now, you actually make sure they're producing the hormone. This is one gland, a very connecting to the adrenaline gland. They also are very connecting to the pancreas. And the pancreas, and you come down to the ovary, to the testicle, to the vagina, to the uterus, and you go up to pineal gland, pituitary gland, or you have thyroid, parathyroid, and the thymus. And the, so all the gland is involved with producing the elixir. You rub the thyroid up like this, and you smile to it. Thyroid is the gland that in a very dangerous position because no protection. That's it. Right stick on this. And you know why? When you swallow normal way, the thyroid don't activate. When you swallow like this, good, thyroid activate. And what important about thyroid activate? Because all the food we eat in, and in the Tao you won't believe that all the air we breathe in, you need the thyroid uh, gland to mix in with it in order to get the burning process. A spark, the original force light, a spark plug, it, and this burn, boom, and we get energy. So that's why the water we drink in, the food we eat down, you need to activate the thyroid. But nowadays, we don't chew enough and we don't swallow properly, so we have not much activate them. Okay? Now, some people, they're born with some balance, imbalance, the thyroid too active. You still can, you wrap up more, acti activate them up, you wrap down more balancing and cooling it down. Yeah. So, uh, so something very simple, because this gland is right, <laughs> it's right outside. Okay? And uh, if you don't do anything with it, one day they get trouble. When you get trouble, it's too late sometimes. Swallow, you put it, you, you, you put it like this. You feel it more clicker, clicker, that you activate the thyroid. You need to activate them. Usually we just take some food, drink some water, good, now that's it. Sometimes the thyroid not even move. And the chanting. So people have problem with thyroid. I, the number one, I have them rub upward and swallow the saliva yeah. every day, at least 20, 30 times. Make sure the thyroid activate and the chanting. You feel the vibration here. You touch here very light and you feel the vibration of chanting. That is the eight forces. It's very important to feel the, the gland vibration. You feel it, right? You feel too much chanting is you, you took all the time, not, not cultivating the chi. All the chanting very similar with the earth song. Okay? The song of the earth. Uh, all the planets have the song. Actually, they're making noise. <laughs> so a lot of them, oh, 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 oh. so that's why every religious day find a sound. And a very similar sound, anyhow. Um, um. Actually, you can go into the nasaspacecenter.com and they have sample. You want to see that why all the monks 
chanting, you click on it and oh, 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 oh. It's the same that you, you turn on what they're chanting and what they are the same. And the same thing in the prophet, in the olden time when they relax, where they come, where they relax, and hear the sound. And what they say? God, talk to me. <laughs> God, talk to me. God, tell me something, you know. And, so, and they translate whatever they want. <laughs> so whatever they want, they translate. <laughs> so Tara is very important. Swallow it right. <clears throat> this is to go together with this set of elixir qigong. So drink your food and eat your liquid. Okay? You chew your food until all the saliva come out mixing with the, with the food and you grow down it activates the thyroid and it keeps the hormone into the food. And we go to the system, burn. It, it, it burns. Okay? Otherwise, it don't burn very well. So the food we eat in, they don't burn in a proper way. We don't get enough good fuels. That's why the uh, thyroid is very important. Do it, you know. Sometimes you have nothing, you say, So you moisture in the throat and the vibration. They activate the whole thyroid. And you swallow the saliva. Because anything passed through the body has to pass through the throat and have to activate by the thyroid. You see? That's why you put it in a very dangerous place. Somebody squeeze here, you finish. <laughs> Testicle and the uh, prostaglan. Massage the testicle also. That is a very, very important. Because this one producing hormone. Okay, you massage them, you clear them out. The problem we have is, is settlement. It's settlement too much. And all the thing is settled down and block the hormone. So we have the book called the Kasai, Neijang. You can do it yourself, but it's a little bit difficult, you know. You have to find the blockages. Because here is the lower part. Lower for men, testicle is the lowest part in the trunk. Okay? So if we don't if we don't breathe in any pollution air, that you don't have problem. Mm -hmm. We breathe the same air when we when we use our vacuum machine to vacuum the floor. You know that? Mm -hmm. huh? Are we breathing the same air or not? Who have whoever been changed your vacuum machine filter? You did it? When you change it, what? Snow white, is that right? No. And after a month or a week, you vacuum it out, what happened? It stings, is that right? Because it's dark like charcoal, I touch it, I itch it. Immediately I itch it. I cannot even touch it. It's dark like charcoal, right? Okay? Are we breathing the same air with the vacuum machine? We're breathing the same air. Simple, air filter, crazy, you know, air filter. The air that we breathe and you filter for a while, you can't even look at it. If you look at the air filter when they change, you just don't want to believe that how much we breathe in. And we have no way to get out. We can change filter. They can change filter in the air filter, where we cannot change filter inside our body. We cannot do it. So it's settled down in the same body. On the organ, in the body, and everywhere. Okay? So for men, I tell you, the best thing you can have is massage your testicle. So the lady 
the breast and the vagina, you need to do it. This is the, this is the number one responsible for the elixir, okay? Abdominal breathing. And you swallow, you swallow three, three directions, okay? Now we finish the inside uh, elixir. We have the nature elixir and we have the universe elixir, okay? The inside elixir, again, it start from you activate them to the sexual organ. So you activate them. You have the adrenaline gland. You have the thymus gland. You have the thyroid, parathyroid, and you have the sex gland. And it come up to the brain, pineal, pituitary, thalamus, hypothalamus, and is your salivary gland. So it's a lot of gland to work on. And you have to believe and trust when you picture them, you in touch with it. And when you can feel it, you feel the energy produced. Okay? The breath, when you understand one, the rest is very simple. Mind, eye, heart, your soul, and the spirit. Okay? When you develop them, they become their wireless connection. Okay? And you have a very powerful wireless connection. When you think and you let it happen. We think about the forest. We think about the mountain. We think about the ocean. You believe there is a force and power. You believe that, that right? It's a force and power. Now we have no question at all, right? When you sit down and watch a TV and they say live. You believe or not? Life. I don't believe it. <laughs> right? You believe it. It's a wireless connection. Now, it's built from the, our genius, our intelligence. We have a wireless internet, wireless connection. When you think about the forest, you put your mind, eye, heart, think about it, smile to it. Very simple. Think about it, smile to it, boom, you make connection. You inhale, <clears throat> very gentle, gentle. Otherwise, you're not going to last until tomorrow. <laughs> this is a very strong qigong, you know. Sometimes it's so a lot of force, so you need more gentle. And you do day by day, and you're increasing your power. And one day, you don't know you have a lot of power, a lot of qi, a lot of energy. Okay? So, forest, you smile to the forest, and you get the exit, and you draw, <coughs> and you exhale. So it's dragon and tiger breath. So it's a very similar breath that we do in the Dantian Qigong. You smile, relax your tongue, think about the forest, think about the forest, okay? And you, you close your mouth. But when you're breathing in, you feel that the chi of the forest come right through your mouth. And you're breathing in. <clears throat> when you breathe like this, <clears throat> I make it a little bit louder for you to hear, but you no need to. Okay? You, are activate, you are breathing and you activate the thyroid. Sometimes we call it dragon and tiger breast. Okay. Tiger, they always do that when they walk around. And, uh, uh, <laughs> because this is all in one with thyroid and parathyroid. Yeah. Thyroid, parathyroid is so important. Anything passed to our body has to go to the neck. The chi, that I means everything can go to it. And we're talking about the spirit attacking you. Because this is the way you have no protection. <laughs> okay? When people are going to kill somebody, where they're going to stab, the, they're going to kill. 
easier if they can grab the throat and slap the throat, finish. When the spirit, they're going to attack you, they're definitely attacking the throat first because it's a weak point. Okay? Tongue, relax. Inhale, smile. My eye heart power. Smile to the forest. Picture the forest. And feel you breathing in simple, just a few, a few breaths. Inhale, exhale, feel you breathe in touch with the forest. That's how, that's how we train to connecting with God. Okay? Forest, you still can see them. God, we cannot see them. No. Okay? If you see the forest, you remember, you think about it, you make connection, right? This is easier than connecting with God. Yeah? So, smile to the forest. Inhale. Exhale. Gather the chi in your mouth. Gather the chi in your mouth. Fill your mouth. When you gather it up, your mouth like a, a ball. Come up. And chi ball come up. Inhale. Now breathe, few times, inhale, exhale. Feel you gathering, gathering, gathering the chi, gathering the chi in your mouth, gathering the chi, gathering the chi. And you feel really something started to, like a chi ball expand in your mouth. Okay, chi ball expand in your mouth. Don't, don't open your mouth. You feel chi, you feel something building up in your in your mouth. Now mountain, smile to it, mountain. Inhale, <coughs> exhale. Inhale. Mouth don't open. Mouth not open. Keep your mouth closed. But you feel something go to your mouth. <coughs> Smile. Very relaxed. Smiling. Breathing. Breathing the mouth of power. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Just breathe. Mouth and throat. Feel build up. Now mixing this chi. Saliva have ten times power to hold the chi than water. Okay? It dissolves ten times more power than water. And swallow. <coughs> and um all these things, what we are talking about, the galaxy, the moon and sun and star, what we call by God. Mm -hmm. The force of God, the force of the power, the force of the nature. When you tune in it, you can take in those forces. The throat, <coughs> to the throat, <coughs> restore. So you draw more chi into the saliva, and the saliva, have the power to transform it. Okay? It's very important. The ocean, 
smile. You know, when you smile, you picture your mind, your eye, your heart, your soul, your spirit into it. Okay? Immediately, your wireless connection connect. That's it. No matter how far you are. From here to Alaska, it's just a second. That's it. Only a second. Smile to the ocean. Now just very relaxed mind to the ocean and breathe. Inhale. Feel you draw the essence. Very gentle, very soft. Feel you draw the essence of it. Breathe the essence of it. It's unlimited. Into your mouth. Keep on breathing. Now smile to the moon, picture the moon, smile to the moon. When you put your mind, eye, heart, it's so simple. When you have a signal and you turn on your wireless internet in your computer, it connect, it connect. That's it. There's no any difficult at all. All this thing is there. The moon, you picture the moon. You smile to it. You feel your mind, eye, heart, soul, and spirit go toward the moon. You can make connection. That's all. Very simple. Not difficult. Breathe a few times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. <coughs> And exhale. Smile to the moon. <coughs> Mix the energy into your mouth. Breathe a few times. Inhale and exhale. You must feel the frequency. You connect. In no deny, you connect. Breathing. Now, the sun. The sun. Smiling sunshine. There are something very simple. If you can see the sunlight touching you, there are wireless connection from here to the sun. Okay? When you can see a star, the light can be traveled 300 million light years away. But when the light uh, you see, you reach, you make connection. Okay? That's all. There are no different, there are no difficulty, there are nothing. A connection. It's a connection. Okay. Smile. Breathe a few times with your mind, eye, heart power. Into your mouth. Drawing the essence into your mouth. Smile. The essence. That is how we discover God. That's how we discover God. Okay? And that's how Chinese discover Qi. Okay? 
Him hell. <coughs> Exhale. My breathing in. Feel your mouth chi growing. We got chi ball, golden elixir in your mouth growing. Breathing in and breathing out your mouth close and feel the elixir growing. Chi. And the saliva coming out. You, you feel like a chi ball. Actually, you are holding a chi ball and expand your mouth. Smiling to the North Star. Put your mind, your eye, your heart, your soul and spirit. When you put them in a team, they send out a very powerful wireless connection. Shh, connect. That's it. Too simple. Okay? Very simple. Picture it. Put your mind, eye, heart in it, and you make connection. And breathe. Inhale. Very gentle, very soft. Draw them in. To your mouth, to your mid eyebrow, to your crown. Exhale. Violet. North star generate the biggest wireless light in the universe, in our universe. Okay. Inhale. North Star and Big Dipper. And exhale. Inhale. <clears throat> and exhale. Now, mix the saliva with the chi. Let it absorb the chi. We're going to swallow down. Prepare. Three times. One, one, two, three. Three times. <coughs> 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 Now, when you do the Tan Tien Chi Kong, Elixir Kong, some of you, when you don't do the so, uh, swallow the saliva pop away, or you're getting the chi pop away, you might get chat pain. Okay? So when you rub on the, the sternum and rib cage, if you feel pain, slowly rub it until the pain gone. Okay? Slowly rub it until the pain gone. This is a very amazing, simple massage. Sometimes it pain up to here because the chi is stuck there. So you rub around here. Yeah. It's connecting to the left hand. So heart attack connecting to the left hand. And rest. When you draw in, <coughs> you already endless contract. Very gentle, very little. You don't, don't, don't pay too much attention to it. Just when you inhale, you feel a lightly contracting and you hold it, exhale. And after you finish, you're releasing it. Just let go. Very gentle, relax. Okay? The mid eyebrow and the third eye. Mid eyebrow. Just relax your mid eyebrow. Just really lightly feel your mid eyebrow and your eyebrow. And feel your mid eyebrow very long, long, very long, very long, very long. And relax your jaw. Just lightly open your jaw like this. Sometimes it's good to just practice this alone. When you open your jaw, 
and relax, you feel the jaw relaxing. And when your jaw is relaxing, the, the saliva comes out. You loosen your jaw, you open your mouth, and you look, and you don't, don't worry about how you look. <laughs> I look a little bit silly, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> so loosen your jaw and smile to your jaw. Feel nice and relaxed. When you feel nice and relaxed, the saliva coming out. More saliva coming out. Open your jaw, lightly open your mouth. Smile, relax. Close your eyes and smile. Continue open your mouth and feel your eye sink down. Your eye relaxing down. Your eye sinking down, dropping down. We always use too much eye. Your ear very long. Listen down, listen down into your center. Your ear very long. And just feel like you've been sitting here for one hour now. And you've been sitting here for one day now. Sitting here very relaxed. Everything, your hair, your ear very long, your eyebrow very long, everything very long. You've been sitting here for one year now. So very relaxed. Nothing, nothing to worry. Relax, relax. And rest. This is a very good practice. Simple, easy to get more elixir. Because when we are too tense, we clench the teeth. Too tense. Saliva stop. When you relax, saliva coming out. 